grand rising, grand rising, grand rising. How are you sunflowers doing? It is a, it's a kind of a stormy day here. It's starting to clear up. A lot of energy coming in, a lot of information coming in, and a lot of reaction coming in as a result of the incoming energies. And so these last week or so I've I have witnessed a whole lot. Will you go open that back door for him to get out, please? I have witnessed a lot reacting to reacting from their fear rather. <laughs> go outside Snoop. Rather than from their innate, if you will. And, I don't know what he's seeing. And and of course that's a that's a natural programmed response. And in that, over the next few hours, next few days, as a whole lot of radiate solar radiation hits, many of you are already starting to feel the the first little ones. But I'm going to encourage you to really look at where you're reacting from what you believe is your innate versus your fear. There is a whole lot of distrust that is being triggered because you guys have lived by distrust your whole existence. It is the very foundation of the inverted matrix, if you will. And so, as... All of this light comes in to purify even in a more Gregorious expanded way, if you will. This is again, when you understand that as a collective, we are walking through the 4D astral plane and the 4D astral plane is, is good and evil. It's where all pure potentiality exists because thought creates and it is the thoughts of humans that they have emotionally attached to that have brought evil and discord and disharmony to the 3d existential disc plane of existence where so many of you blame that 3d is the lower realms that is where you're mistaken that is where you have attached to distorted ideation because it's only the human behavior that can bring evil to an existential dual plane. And in that, that is why you have a devil on one shoulder and an angel on the other, because it's called a light world and a dark world, and it gives you opportunity to create that which you want. And so, in that, the consciousness of humanity, of this civilization, <clears throat> excuse me, has been taught to attach emotions to their thoughts. And it is the emotional feelings that you attach to any thought that materializes it. So it is each one of us that have brought evil to this world by attaching to those thoughts and bringing it into the physical reality, if you will. And part of the awakening journey, which these energies are going to awaken a whole lot more within you. Exposing the truth of yourselves, and that truth is not pretty. And in that, everybody wants truth out here to expose all the corruption out here. But first, the corruption has to be exposed within yourselves. You have to become aware of where your your free will has manipulated your consciousness and so over the next 48 to 72 hours a lot is going to be revealed within yourselves a lot of shame a lot of distrust and it's also going to show you the selfishness of yourself and the false ideation of where you believe that selfishness is for the greatest and highest good where that selfishness is really service to yourself rather than allowing yourself to expand into multidimensionality and service 
to others. Now, as long as you're observing the world through your own perception, your own angle of what you call truth and connection to source, if you cannot recognize the manipulation templates, well, you're going to go into a, to a very irritated and triggered state and you will react from that trigger. And right now, as the straitjacket gets pulled even more, as the mirrors enclose upon yourselves, because remember, you've lived in your own little bubble that it's all about you, whether it's the dark side of the human that was unawakened or whether it's the light side of yourself where you started to awaken and then you started going into the fear based of I have to protect myself from everybody. It's still fear. And so as the collective of the light workers who have chosen to battle in the 4D rather than walk through it, for those of you who have chosen to continue the battle of separation and division by fear, having to protect your energy field, having to do this, having to do that. <clears throat> and it's my truth and your truth. It's my journey and your truth. This is going to give each and every one of you the opportunity to truly pass through and walk out of the 4D astral plane of good and evil, of the battle of information and truth. And so a lot is going to be triggered if you fi are finding yourselves irritated. If you are finding yourself saying that people are energy vampires, if you are finding yourself impatient all of those triggers are there to show each and every one of you the density that is still within you and where you're avoiding it denying it rejecting it abandoning it because you're making it about the outside world or people out here and so if you're making choices based on somebody outside of you doing something, then you're reacting from fear. You are not reacting from your heart space. And it is very conditional and it is not an unconditional loving thing. And this is how we have distorted and defiled the divine Christed holy light for thousands of years. Again, you have to step back and be emotionally neutral and objective in order to see yourself. And because people don't like, especially light workers and star seeds, don't like to look at their own separation. That's not a judgment, it's a fact. Observe. They would rather blame and, and stay in a space of protected fear, pr having to protect themselves. What you're doing is you're desecrating the light, and so all of that, too, is coming to be shown. Where the unconscious, where the beliefs, where the separation has, has been attached to and has created even more unconscious separation, even though the decision and choice was based on fear of any kind. And so... I made a post the other day about distrust. The very first veil any of you put on is a veil of a trinity. And that veil consists of abandonment, distrust, and unworthiness. And so everything right now is triggering the impatience, the irritation, and the battle between the mind of the mortal who thinks it knows everything and the heart-brain coherence that truly does know everything. And so as that battle of will is triggered within every one of us, as that battle of will presents itself out here even more heightened, it is really necessary. Where are you impatient? Where are you being triggered and you're blaming that trigger on somebody else somebody else being an energy vampire somebody else being dark somebody else being this somebody else being that 
If you cannot see yourself first, you will react and you will put that reaction as being holy. Being creators will, again, putting yourself in a spin and in a loop. And you're going to find, as the light truly returns, that mental consciousness that a lot of your spirituality, too, was specifically put in your path to show you and to distract you into the same loops so you guys would recognize it. Because one thing about creator and one thing about the consciousness grid, it does not choose sides. It does not play favorites. It stays neutral. The same information that is available to scientifically proven of the so-called 3D, 4D evil world is the exact same information of the light world. Why? Because light and dark are married. The matrix will support you in every which way. Good, bad, evil, or indifferent. It will provide synchronicities. It will provide proof. Whether it provides proof that something's bad, it will provide the exact same proof that something is good because it supports both sides of itself. And so, where so many truly don't understand how the matrix works, you guys choose a polarity, and as long as you choose something good or bad, and you see this in a lot of the lightworker community, many of them have been sick for the last week and a half, two weeks. Why? Because they have projected and chose a polarity and if you know how the matrix in the universe works if you choose something as bad then the universe has to bring your belief and your energies back around to you and make you experience your belief in order to neutralize the imbalance of your polarity so let's go to the vaccine you have a collective that says it's bad for you in the light worker community and now they are experienced the return of their own belief in order for them to neutralize it within themselves you see all of these people that are saying all this stuff is bad in the world therefore the return of the Christ consciousness that return is coming back to show them the imbalance of their choice because they did not stay in the heart space and stay neutral. And in that, it's really necessary. Why do you want to stay neutral? When I say stay neutral, I'm saying stay emotionally neutral. And why emotionally neutral? Because as long as you're emotionally charged, you will make an unwise choice. You will make a bipolar choice without looking at the effect of your choice and how it returns back to you. And so that is what is occurring. And you're going to see these next 60 days, a lot of this is now your return, the return of all of your energy, of all of your choices of imbalance, if you will. And what's occurring for so many of you is instead of using and applying your awareness that we're about to go into a unification of Christ consciousness and everything that is triggering you, everything that is returning to you is your energy to show you your own distrust, your own imbalance within yourself. People are reacting to it rather than seeing it for what it is. If you want the return of Christ consciousness, then you have to understand that it brings with it both positive, neutral, and negative return. This is what so many starseeds are negating to use their awareness with. And it's really, really helpful for you guys so you stop looping in your own pain, if you will. 
to really see where you're choosing a bipolar rather than walking out of this world completely. And in as long as you're choosing something in this world as being bad or good, you're looping in the very frequencies that you're trying to evolve and ascend or rise out of, if you will. These next 60 days, sweethearts, is not going to be easy. Why? Because it's the return. And... The return of the Christ, unified Christ consciousness will hit this planet ethically and energetically on Christmas Eve. And then, of course, it takes those three days to integrate and process and this, that, and the other. And as of December 28th, you will see we begin the dark night of the world soul. Why? And why do I say these next 60 days for you as individuals is going to be tough? Because we as individuals have to have our return of energy in Christ consciousness and anything that does not match that Christ consciousness, again, presents itself in the physical, most often through those that are closest to you. All in preparation for a unified Christ consciousness coming in at the end of this year to where then we not only have the return of the full Christ consciousness, but then we also have the return of the energy of everything that does not align with the return of the Christ consciousness. Whenever any of you shift frequencies you understand that anything that does not match that frequency presents itself on the surface world and in your physical lives for you to neutralize and become aware of. The same thing happens at a collective level. Hey, Rita, where you say wonderful news, message me beautiful and let me know if it's still wonderful when you start getting triggered. <laughs> You want to stay in that space of wonderfulness, even when you're triggered. And that's tough to do right now. All of the irritation and the distrust is not about anybody out here. The corruption and everything else is not about anybody out here. Nobody out here can manipulate you. Why? You're in a mental simulation. You manipulate you. And until you realize that it's you manipulating you because you are the ones who have fed your mind with garbage. And it was you who chose to battle in the 4D astral plane rather than using your innate and walking through it until you guys take responsibility for your own choices. You will loop. It's as simple as that. You can blame the world being corrupted. You can blame me and demonize me. And you can blame everybody else. And you can call people energy vampires. And you can call them this and you can call them that. But when you look in the mirror, it's you. Why? Because you're the one who operates your thinking. You're the one who operates everything about yourself. You're the one who chooses, whether that's subconsciously or consciously. And if you guys really want out of pain and suffering, truly, you'll stop playing in the battle of the 4D realm. Because it's the only place where angelic battles, galactic battles, information wars, truth wars, and everything else occurs. And that is what you guys have been entertaining and you're calling it, oh, this is my journey, this is my truth, that's your truth. If you truly understand that creator is neutral, then you will rise yourself and evolve yourself above the duality of truth and untruth. Because... In the higher dimensional worlds, there's no such thing. 
Again, showing each of you just truly how heart-centered you really are. Because you battle my truth and your truth. And yes, I'm taking into consideration that everybody's at their own frequency. They have or have not cleared this or that. This template or that template. I'm not in a space of judgment with you guys. I'm just saying if you guys truly want out of pain and suffering, you need to start looking at yourself. Because as long as you're reacting and hoping for something to be revealed out here, you're not within looking at the information within your vessels. And that's where you need to be. And it's really necessary right now to where you're masking a false positivity and calling it love light and in the process desecrating the light because you're doing so again all of these patterns all of these choices the last eight and a half years that this planet ascended from d De from december 2012 to this December. These eight and a half, nine years since this planet ascended is about to fully be returned upon each and all. Why? Because it was only once this planet ascended that you guys could truly start your awakening ascending journey. Yes, many of you have been on an awakening journey for multiple years. I get it. No, Todd, not everybody will ascend. And I'm sad to tell you that. Why will not everybody ascend? Because not everyone can ascend. There is multiple aspects of us playing roles here. And in that, there are some that came into form just to assist Earth and her inhabitants to ascend. And they weren't here to ascend because they were already ascended. So, no, not everybody will ascend. Why? Because not everybody can release the density, emotional stuck energy within their vessels to ascend. And as much as we want everybody to ascend, we don't want everybody to ascend. We are here to ascend Gaia out of the underworld and those who, there are many benevolent beings that make up the underworld that choose to stay in the underworld and choose to stay in those frequencies and those realms. So no, not everybody will ascend by choice. And you know, there's one thing about you, you spiritual light workers, star seeds, that is a collective pattern. You guys attach to ideations of savior. That the whole world will ascend where we go when we go all. And, and, and you guys put your own spins and definitions to it. That doesn't make it true doesn't make it accurate information it makes it true in the world of pure potentiality of the 4d absolutely but one thing that has separated us for hundreds and thousands of years is just that we battle over definition and what we want to believe and rather than what is. We are the ones who have distorted information and we blame it on religion and this, that, and the other. And when you understand that this is a cosmic celestial story, not your own, and that anything I speak of as far as dates of things happening are purely etheric. If you understand that what you're walking through has is a has been then you guys would stop making it so personal and getting triggered by it so as we collapse these nine years of walking through your akashic records 
and walking through the living library because again your soul flat fractal returned to its higher self and in that these next 60 days are not going to be easy it's going to be the return of all of your energies of your beliefs that truly are not neutral that truly are not in alignment with the light information of the 5d consciousness grid if you will there are many who are choosing not to anchor to the 5d consciousness grid again why not all will ascend because it's a free will choice even those that do not have awareness that an ascension is taking place is a divine purpose for that because again this is about a free will choice to attach yourselves to a higher dimensional existential grid or to remain in the 4D existential existence. And it has nothing to do with 3D. 3D is just the plane that it plays out on. But the choices come from here. And so when you truly get centered in your heart, you'll understand that it's slowly shifting that you can drive down the road and the scenery not even change and you will be in a different reality so will it hurt well that's on your beliefs will you even know not really because it's etheric your guys's consciousness is shifting that's what the baby steps is and why you guys get headaches blurred vision this that and the other every night you're going to sleep in one reality and you're waking up in another. And why is that? Because humans want everything physical. And spirit, your consciousness, is invisible. And we're not here to play out how it's always been. Y'all die a physical death and then you reincarnate. We're doing it simultaneously. You're dying and birthing every moment in every breath you take any of you there is a death and there is a birth in every breath every moment of your existence out here in here up there down there around whatever you need to label it there is a subjective and there is an objective that you need to see both in every given moment, there is an up and there is a down, there is a positive, there is a negative. There is a past, there is a present, and there is a future. And if you're only focused on one aspect of it, you are not embodying your multidimensionality. And that is what is going to be challenged now. Are you still seeing through the fractal linearity of the name of your vessel, the mortal self? Or have you truly awakened and embodied your awareness that you are multidimensional? Multidimensionality means you can see a minimum of 12 different angles of perception. 12 different angles angles of perspective information why because you have a 12 petal flower of life that has to be neutralized into one and so as you're above and you're below come crashing into your human mortal surface world again the return everyone wants the truth but the truth has nothing to do with out here. The truth is revealing of the information held within your vessel. That you have subconsciously, unconsciously, and subliminally have promoted as truth, as light. And it has been distorted through a choice of polarity. That something was right, something was wrong, something was light, something was dark, something was good, something was bad. And as all of that energy 
of the choices that we have lived by as the mortal human is returned individually preparing for the unified Christ consciousness return. Truly, this is not a time to react to the outside world. This is really a time to spend looking at your own irritation, your own discomfort, your own perception and challenge it because you have distrust, abandonment, or unworthiness still held within you. And as long as those things are not neutralized within you, you will continue to make unwise choices. You will t continue to isolate yourself. You will continue to put yourself in an even more alone environment. As long as you're reacting from distrust, from unworthiness, which is shame within yourself, you will see hurt people will continue to hurt people. People with abandonment issues will continue to abandon those they say they love. Every bit of the energy that's coming in and the solar radiation that's coming in is going to show each and every one of us truly where we are choosing service to self versus service to others. This is not a time where we're shielding ourselves from people in the world. This is a time where we come in to living and coming alive in an ascended world, which means we are the world and we are to participate in the world and walk in the world, not shield ourselves and hide from the world. Everything still going to show you your wounding within, your separation within, and your distrust. And as long as you have distrust and abandonment issues, as long as you still feel unworthy, you are in separation. You are in distortion, and that means any information that you're putting out, any energy you're putting out, anything you do is distorted. It's why we've battled for eight and a half years walking through the spiritual awakening communities, this, that, and the other, of energy vampires, of demons, and this, that, and the other. Because you see, when you truly come into wholeness within yourself, you understand angels, demons, ascended masters, galactic <laughs> celestials, we're all stories of has been us that has been those things and that the only living consciousness is here right now so you stop playing in all of the realms hoping to ascend to those realms hoping to ascend yourselves to a higher frequency why because if you apply your awareness we ascended in December of 2012 and it is only the individual of you who have continued the journey of awakening because you were too scared to face yourself. You all have been ascended since this planet ascended. You're her inhabitants. And for eight and a half years, she was giving each and every one of you the opportunity by free will choice to raise your frequency to match her ascended state, evolutionary cycle, or not. And you will see a lot of transition. Many will transition to go to other experiences. Many will transition because there are holographic beings only there to assist you on your journey. And some of them are called your family, your friends. When you truly are here, you can see through the delusion of yourself within the illusion, which is the inverted matrix, within reality. You have three worlds playing out, and they always have been playing out here on the surface world. 
But instead of seeing that you have lived in an angelic galactic civilization, you guys reject people rather than accept people. And you use excuses of low vibes and energy vampires and frequency and all of these separated ideations and beliefs that have been attached to you to keep yourself separated from each other. You take you with you wherever you go. Whether you think you're in a high frequency or not, you take you with you wherever you go. And that means your galactic self, your celestial self, your angelic self, whether you call that an archangel, whether you call that a demon, they're still you. And you will always battle you until you recognize it's you that is the problem, not the world and not each other. And so every single one is going to go through their own initiations that your soul chose for you. These next 60 days as truly the light returns and you have a return of your own energy and your own fear come back at you. And what it means that no one is left behind, strictly, has nothing to do with humans out here in your ideations of what people are. No one gets left behind means that you guys are not leaving your petals. You're not leaving your fractals that you have trapped in time and space continuums being left behind. That's what you have been walking through. So, Todd, I appreciate you saying that. However, how you're taking it is about bodies rather than consciousness, sweetie. And no one being left behind means you're not trapping yourselves in time and space continuum anymore. And that is the reincarnation cycle. In the reincarnation cycle, you guys have trapped yourselves in different incarnations, pieces of your consciousness, pieces of, of your energy you have left in those memory records, and that is what you have been retrieving. So that's what it means no one gets left behind. None of your fractals get left trapped in time unless you choose them to be. Again, really allow yourselves to shift your mentality from the linearity to truly multi-dimensionality because there is you the human mortal and then there is 11 lives that you are living out that the human mortal cannot see and as those 12 density dimensional material realms of your 11 other aspects come fully in for unification these next 60 days Truly, it's going to cause confusion within the human vessel. And it's okay. Allow the fire to come in, you guys. Allow it to purify you to where you're not separated into 12 different avatar simultaneous lives going on and you bring all of them into yourself to where you can become truly a brand new being that is what you guys want it's what we all want and that truly is unity consciousness where you no longer have yourselves trapped into different dimensions into different simultaneous lives that you have no control over because you don't know about them allow yourselves to be born new and in that, you can't be born new if you are only allowing yourself to see and exist through your mortal understanding. Truly, the inversion within is taking place rapidly now. Allow the inversion to take place out here in your perception. Because if you're not understanding it, you will get caught up in the confusion of it. Take the opportunity, sweethearts, to really 
Look at where you're impatient. Look at where you want to tell the world to fuck off. Look at where you're getting triggered by your parents or your families or you're this or you're that. Really look. Because it's your stargate, it's your gateway, it's your initiation, it's your choice. And right now that choice is going to choose and it's going to seal. You're either going to choose the world of your fear by conscious choice or by unconscious because you got triggered and put it on something else or you truly are going to choose your multidimensionality of love light where there is no polarity. There is no battle of truth in my truth, your truth, of my journey, your journey. This is bad, this is good, these are evil, these are light. There is none of that. And until you guys learn to live with each other and learn to love each other unconditionally instead of saying each other are vampires and they're evil and they're dark and they're this and they're at that, until you guys deal with your distrust issues, it is going to be mirrored back here, out here. Why? Because this is the ascended world. And it's only how what you hold within that is keeping the corruption, keeping it all out here. You guys want this outside the ship. Then start being accountable and responsible for what you're playing in. What you're choosing of information wars. Allow yourselves to walk out of the 4D battles because it's only you guys that keep it alive. Truly. You guys want truth out here. Your focus is in the wrong place. Because truth will never be exposed out here until you expose it to yourselves. But nobody likes to see what's held within. And right now, all the work that we have done as a collective, as individuals, that light is now going to start illuminating the grid within. And that illumination is going to, because remember, it becomes an underglow under your skin. Again, has nothing to do with out here. The grid meridian system is within you, and your heart is about to be highlighted and illuminated. And when that gets illuminated, that illuminates every bit of your wounding and your distrust and your abandonment within here. It's the piercing of the veil on the physical, tangible plane if you allow it. But first, you have to truly be responsible that the world isn't to blame for your distrust. The world is not to blame. Not me, not you, not anybody is to blame for how you feel within. You are. And we have blamed each other and the world for thousands of years. So, I encourage you, sweethearts, truly. We want to be returned to our families. Whether you want to call them angelic, galactic, or celestial. But that cannot happen if you guys are so unwilling to accept each other and you still blame each other as being energy vampires, this, that, and the other. It's not about you. And the sooner you guys realize that, peace and harmony will return. And yes, the light is bringing that. And now, anything that does not match that higher frequency that has come online for everyone will present and rear its ugly little head. So... We can do this together or we can continue to stay in the 4D astral plane of information wars, of truth wars, of separation wars, or truly 
you can deal with your distrust so you can start trusting each other again instead of demonizing each other. Let Creator have its fun through all of us. And let us let Creator guide, our soul guide us versus the mortal linear mind. We can rise together or some of us can rise and some of us can loop and keep falling. But if you truly don't want any part of your family, yourself, left behind, then start demonizing. Stop demonizing them. Stop demonizing each other. Truly look at where you're making it about your will rather than the will of Gaia. After all, it's her ascension, not yours. Not mine, it's hers. We're her inhabitants and she's carrying us with us if we allow it. But many are kicking and screaming. Absolutely, Brandon, I'm going to absolutely agree with you. The only thing that can hurt you or harm you, whether you say it's outside or inside, is your thought. And what you put emotional feeling to you. So in that, yes, you guys are going to get triggered. We all are. Yeah, you're going to get butthurt and people are going to piss you off and you're going to say they're unawakened and you're going to say they're demons and they're energy vampires and they just want your sexual energy and this, that, and the other. I'm going to encourage you. Challenge those thoughts because you don't have to attach emotion to them. You don't have to loop in those. You don't have to create that for all of us to experience. Because yes, that's what it means. Where one goes, all goes. What you think, what you do affects me. It affects Zay, it affects Sam of the family, it affects Brandon, it affects Nikki, it affects Mariana, it, Pam, I could go on and on. And until you truly understand multidimensionality, you, before you make a choice, before you emotionally attach energy, feeling to anything, you look at the effect, <clears throat> excuse me, you look at the ripple effect that your cause, which is your choice, going to have. Multidimensionality is seeing the effect and the result of your rippled out before you make the choice. Choose wisely. And if you're operating from your own space of distrust, you are not representing the light. You are representing your fears. So from my heart to yours truly, let us rise together outside of the polarity of truth and untruth light and dark into the ascended world that we've been living in for eight and a half years pierce your veils because we're not to blame for each other's pain and suffering and how they feel within your choices are and yeah we've all made some pretty shitty choices forgive yourselves it's okay we needed to because Creator needed to experience itself in order to evolve itself. So really, really observe what gets triggered, your irritation, your confusion. It's time to unify. It's time to come together and stop the true power trips of truth wars and frequency wars and information. Who cares? Close your eyes for a moment. Your soul don't care because your soul don't see that separation. And when you take yourself back to your heart, you're going to see it's only your distrust within yourself. You not trusting this. Because your soul <clears throat> doesn't see 
the effects your human does from its mirage, your soul feels it. And it's called abandonment, it's called rejection, and it's called unworthiness and distrust. Your soul only feels energy. It does not get caught up in stories and mirages of beliefs. And it is there where you will find truly acceptance. And it is only there will you be able to stop demonizing this world out here and each other out here and separating yourselves by vibes, by frequency, by false distorted beliefs. Because for eight and a half years we have lived together as a civilization in peace and harmony and it is only you mortal humans that are programmed that keep it separated. And we would really like you guys to come home and stop the battle. But only you guys can walk away from the battle zone. And that is 4D. Where good and evil exists. Because it's the only place that good and evil exists. Surrender this mind that has been programmed <coughs> for the fractal evolution. And go here. Because here is about to amp up. This out here so you can see. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you could truly become aware that out here is the distortion of what has kept you trapped. How you perceived it. Let love truly be your guide. Because if it's distrust that is your guide, you're trapping yourself in your own choice of enslavement. From my heart to yours, have a most magical, blessed day. As this inside all gets rumbled up to start surfacing so we can become aware and accountable and responsible for it. Your bodies are going to feel like about a thousand elephants are stomping on it. It's okay. Talk out loud to your bodies and truly love your bodies. They have served you well. They have served you greatly. And they have walked you through the densest of experiences so Creator could evolve itself. So accept the glory that these body avatars have provided you instead of demonizing them in unworthiness. And you will know love from a multidimensional aspect rather than your limited mortal human. Have a magical day, buttercups. Turn your face to the sun, sunflowers, and allow yourselves to unfold truly. Because we've never been separated, and it's your guys' mortal minds that are keeping that. So let us truly unify. From my heart to yours, have a great day, y'all. Bye-bye now.